All right, hello everyone, it's Team Rocket Joss here with another Pokemon card opening. And for this video, guys, we're gonna be opening this Charizard GX Hidden Fates 10 with five of the Sword and Shield Rebel Clash Dollar Tree Pack. So this is the first thing that we're gonna open right now. So let me just set the Charizard aside and uh, let's see if we get something good in these Dollar Tree Packs. And uh, obviously, I think the, the the actual Hidden Fates 10, guys, I'll put a um, an actual price on screen as. Soon Soon as i i mentioned the, the actual tin um i think right now online like if you guys look at amazon or or ebay they'll run you around 40 dollars 40 to 50 dollars um i know that there's uh, some walmart some stores that are still like uh like putting them out but they're really hard to find and you'll probably get them for like 20 dollars at the store um so we didn't get anything good in this one so just in case you guys were um interested in like uh, getting a a Charizard one. I think the Charizard is obviously going to be the more expensive one because uh, you, you could also get the Raichu or the Gyarados. And uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know. It's just you never know if there's somebody new in my channel, especially because it's mainly focused on like not card openings, but a uh, drawing. So that's why I tend to like keep like repeating myself a lot of the times. Um, and then these Dollar Tree Packs, obviously, they're going to be a dollar. Uh, you could find these in Dollar General or Dollar Tree. And um, the thing is that if you guys look these up online, guys, I don't recommend you guys buying them. Uh, oh, we ended up getting a reverse hollow in this one, which is an uncommon. And uh, the reason that I don't recommend you guys actually uh, looking, uh, trying to buy these online is because a lot of people weigh them since there's no way to because uh, a lot of the packs nowadays especially the new ones they have a code card and that code card depending if you get a good pull or not so to defeat the people that weigh them they actually have like different color code cards so now all the packs weigh the same and uh for example these right here uh, a hollow would weigh a little bit more or like an ultra rare or whatnot and um yeah so it kind of take away and a lot of people they buy these dollar tree packs and then uh, they weigh a little bit and then they resell them and obviously you're not going to get anything good in them uh, unless you get someone that's actually true to their word and whatnot um but yeah i don't recommend you guys buying them and they're you're always going to buy them for more money right so it seems like we didn't get anything good so far in these dollar tree tree packs other than the reverse hollow so uh yeah let's see if we get something good in this uh charizard gx and so here's the the back if you guys want to look at it pause the video so i've actually opened quite a few of these already i don't know if this is going to be one of the older tents or one of the new ones um and the way that we're going to be able to tell is just by the actual packaging and the inside uh the newer ones have like a uh, cardboard inserts instead of the plastic ones um i believe this is going to be like one of the plastic ones like the older ones um and uh, we'll see right now if we get anything good so yeah guys i've actually opened quite a few of these already if you guys are interested in these i have a yeah so th this is the plastic one um i actually have a playlist in the description below where you'll find a playlist for all my card openings and uh, it'll just show you guys all the ones that i've done so far so if you guys want to look at the actual uh promo card the actual charizard it's right here i'm not gonna go over it just like i mentioned before i've opened probably like two or three of these charizard tins already and uh, it is a promo card here Here's a code card for the actual tin. There you go. Set that aside and let's actually get our four pack. So let's see if we can pull something good in these guys. A uh, Hidden Fates is just one of those uh, sets that everybody wants. Like everybody has opened uh, like their fair share of tins, right? Uh, or packs. Um, these will run you around like eight to ten dollars a pack if you guys want to buy them individually. We're gonna save the Charizards because like that's the reason why they're so expensive. One for the uh, shiny Charizard or for the simple fact that you guys could get shiny in these so i still to be fun let's actually open this one first um just because it's kind of funny guys that i've never pulled the the actual birds legendary trio uh, card or regular or even the rainbow rare so a lot of people usually like everybody that i see opening these 
packs, guys. They get those those birds. They get the birds, and they get mad because they keep getting them. I still myself haven't gotten them, so that's actually pretty sad right there, right? Like a lot of people complain, like, oh, oh, I got them again. I didn't want them and whatnot. It's like, dude, I want it. I don't have it yet. Like, why are you complaining? You got it. I don't. So we're gonna start out with the fighting energy, and then I'm just gonna go through these really quick, just because uh, this is a really small set, so uh, all these cards are just gonna be repetitive. Them. The, the one that we really want is going to be the one after this Pikachu, I believe, which is the reverse. In the reverse spot, that's where we're going to get the shinies if we get one. And the way to know that is if it's not hollow. So, for example, right here, the reverse, obviously, you guys know that the actual reverse hollows are like the hollows in the outside. Well, for a shiny, it's not going to be like this. It's going to be an actual shiny card. So, that's how I know we didn't get an actual shiny for this set, for the shiny vault. And now for a rare, it's just going to be a regular rare golem. So, I I do set these apart the reverse hollows uh, just because i do separate them so might as well do that right now so now we got one out of four packs with nothing good in it and i'm pretty sure i got all those and probably even have that reverse clefairy and there's a good chance i already have it and it seems like we got something good ladies and gentlemen and all the code cards are actually white so there's no point um but it seems like i got something good i saw something shiny so we're gonna get a hit in this pack hopefully it's that charizard i don't know it seems like it's a full art so it could actually be the the actual rare of the pack because if you get a shiny guys you can still get a hit for the actual rare so the shiny takes the spot of the reverse hollow like i mentioned before so i believe this is gonna be our reverse and we'll see nope one more and uh, we're gonna see if this is gonna be a shiny or if it was a regular gx there we go guys nice who did we get oh we ended up getting another gust lord shiny so this is an ultra beast right he looks pretty funny he looks like the the pumpkin from super mario the bowser the one where bowser is where you're fighting in the uh, super mario world man but this is actually really cool unfortunately i already i have this one already but like i mentioned before i'll take it guys it's still a shiny right it's better than that first pack oh that's what i saw we ended up getting uh ultra rare in the back as well other than the shiny so we ended up getting oh we got the birds talking about the bird bird is the word yes finally i get the birds all right so i'm pretty excited guys probably you guys are like why are you so excited getting the birds i've never pulled a bird so leave me alone so centering wise it's actually really bad it seems like it's bottom to the top uh to the sides it seems it's right to left so it's not the best centering and for sure we're gonna actually sleeve these subs i finally pulled the birds uh, man it's been so many packs I, I don't know how many packs i've opened to be honest guys um now now i'm gonna look up at the phone it's not going to be recording it is actually recording <laughs> i don't want to jinx myself but uh yes guys i'm also going to sleeve our reverse right here our uh shiny actually so nice this is probably a really good pack so if i don't pull anything else in the tin like i mentioned i don't want to jinx myself but if we didn't pull anything else i'll be happy with the tin hopefully we do right we still want something better but or more but we can't be too greedy but uh we ended up pulling the birds let me actually look at them once again guys because like i said i've never pulled this card before so a lot of people they're like ah, oh, they just toss it and whatnot i'm not gonna do that so obviously it's a tag team Moltres, Sapdos, and Articuno it has trinity bird uh, burn for four energy and you need one of each for 210 and then you guys sky legends gx and i don't know what that uh energy plus means so shuffle i might actually let me see shuffle this pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck if this pokemon has at least one extra fire water and electric energy attached to it in addition to the tax cost this attack does 110 damage to three of your opponent's pokemon oh so there we go guys it's actually not that bad so it actually does a lot of damage so 110 to three different pokemon so that's actually pretty good but you do need to add all the the different energies and then for four you still do 210 like why do people not like this card like what are you guys doing and then look at the gust lord all right let's pay attention to the gust lord i'm sorry guys i just the 160 caught my attention for a gust lord 
I know it's an ultra beast, but it is it, it has 160 uh, HP as well. Lord's Valley, and it requires four of the dark energy. If you have exactly two, four, or six cards remaining, discard the top 10 cards of your deck. Oh, so you need to be careful with that one. All right, guys, we got two more packs. I'm actually really excited, and I'm sorry that my videos tend to be a little bit longer than most people. If you guys watch other people do card openings, it's just I don't know, guys. I'm just having fun with the card openings, right? Uh, but we did end up pulling finally the birds um the only thing i want now is probably the rainbow rare birds right and that's the ne next thing to go for the actual set other than the reverse um other than the shiny shiny vault cards um yeah that's that's kind of what we're going for uh so we're gonna start off with the fairy energy and i'm just gonna go through i don't know why i'm putting these down here um but yeah guys i'm just gonna go through them if you guys notice you almost get the same cards in every pack all right so now for our favorite art of the videos it has to be the motris all right so before we get started so we're, let's see if we got another shiny i believe it's gonna be behind this one and we did no way we got two shinies all right so it's gonna be it seems like a water pokemon we ended up getting oh a quagsire nice i don't think i have this one guys i don't have this one oh this is probably one of the better tints all right so now for a rare we ended up getting just a regular rare butterfree so nothing that good right there but we end up getting a shiny quagsire because if you guys notice down here in the bottom, this is SV Shiny Vault 10 out of uh, Shiny Vault 94. So there's 94 Shinies. There's actually quite a few to get. And uh, I don't have this one. I do have the Gust Lore already though. But that's two Shinies and one tin. Man, I've gotten some really bad luck in some of the other tins that I've opened where I don't get anything. Like, all I would get is just like a regular Hollow, Like the Biporion. I think it's like really easy to get in this set so there we go guys um now for the last pack so i i would consider this a really good 10 just for the simple fact that we got two of these shinies and then we obviously got the birds um and uh yeah that's the one that i wanted and i finally pulled it guys because uh, i don't have that many hidden fates tins still to open i did pre-order a couple from uh, gamestop um and uh, I'm, i'll be opening those i did buy uh uh two sets of the three tents so basically two two charizards two gyarados two stuff like that and i'll be saving those i don't want to open those um but i still have one i have a gyarados right now to the side of me that i still need to open i've had that for probably closer to a year now i guess and i got probably another one in a box somewhere so i still got a, a at least a few more to open that i do want to open so i'm pretty excited though because i do want to get that charizard guys i've opened so many of these I, I used to buy them on amazon for 30 dollars each which is kind of crazy and I, and unfortunately we didn't get a shiny but hopefully we ended up getting an ultra rare and it seems like we didn't guys we ended up coming out with the reporting that i mentioned before so at least we got a hollow out of it right um so we ended up getting two shinies a hollow and a gx and i'm not even gonna actually sleeve up the hollow uh just because it's not it's it's not worth all that much money guys and i have already some and and uh it is what it is you know what i mean centering it seems okay but it's nothing special uh but yeah guys we ended up pulling three we ended up getting three hits out of this 10 out of the the charizard gx and uh and obviously we still have the actual promo card charizard gx so if you could consider that i think it's like eight dollars i think if you if you guys want to buy that promo um it's four hits and one ten so and this is like i mentioned before like around 45 dollars so i don't know guys you know what i mean they're kind of expensive they're kind of up there but it's still really fun to open uh, you guys might actually be able to get some deals like i mentioned before you might find them at a store or whatnot or gamestop i bought them for 22 dollars each i believe pre-ordered so there's always ways to actually get some of these tins for regular price and uh yeah guys so okay right, so now for my favorite art of the video you guys choose yours so if you guys are not aware thanks to robot guys every video every card opening that we do we choose our favorite art of all the cards that we ended up pulling and then at the end of the video you guys tell me in the comment section why you chose that one and then i choose mine as well so for me it's gonna be this articuno moltres and sap those legendary uh pokemon tag team 
card um so it's actually really cool guys i've always wanted these just because these are the three legendary birds that i grew up with so uh watching pokemon 2000 these are the pokemon that were up there right um if you guys not aware that's where lugia comes out for the first time and and basically the three birds kind of go crazy and then lugia comes down to like kind of like control them and whatnot and then they start fighting against lugia and uh yeah so it's actually pretty cool and then you even see slow king on there so it's actually a really cool movie yeah i'm actually I, I, I don't know i should watch that movie uh sooner or later because it's actually a really good movie i haven't seen it in a long time but um yeah so it's gonna be my favorite one for the simple fact that you got all three of them come on you can't beat that and then just the colors having the the on in the in the top right there just with his wing spread open and then you got uh Sapthos doing like dude like you need to put some uh <laughs> some deodorant and then we have over here mulch being like i know right like what are you doing bro and then the kind just i don't care but um yeah it's actually really cool uh, overall it's just the art guys i don't know maybe it's just the silver for the background and then the blue outline for all three of them it just makes them stand out especially uh like we have mulches down here so the blue just makes everything pop out as well as um a uh, Sapdos. so this is just a beautiful card overall so we ended up getting these three pulls so that's why that's my favorite of the video guys if not i would have probably chose the gus lord just because it it just stands out so much and you could actually so uh see all of gus lord even though he's like such a big pokemon but yeah guys that's gonna be it for uh, this video don't forget to leave a like guys and subscribe for more videos and i guess i'll just catch you guys on the next one team rocket dross out